Okay, so what is a variable geometry turbocharger or a VNT, variable nozzle turbocharger? You know, what's a waste-gated turbocharger? That sort of thing. Well, we get asked this question a lot and effectively, um, I guess you need to um, think about what is a turbocharger, okay? Well, so here we have a, a cutout of a turbocharger and what are the various parts? I mean, you would have seen things like this in the past. You've seen compressor wheels and turbine wheels and so on. Um, but what is it? Well, effectively, an engine makes more, can make more power if you provide it with more air, okay? Fundamentally, you're trying to burn a fuel, which requires a certain ratio of air to fuel to burn it to completion and get maximize the energy from it. So to get more air into your engine, you pump it in. So a turbocharger is an air compressor. You're, it's quite literally a centrifugal air compressor. And this is the, the compressor portion. Uh, and it, you know, it might in this case, you know, punch, you know, 900 CFM of air. Uh, and then on the, on, this, on the other end, you need to drive it with something. So that's the compressor and a compressor needs an engine, needs a motor to drive it. This is the motor. So the turbine wheel is just the motor to drive it. And um, how you drive it, how you, how you um, like for example, this is, this is a, uh, a, uh, one of our bad boy uh, Vortex Reds CT, that's out of a gated turbocharger. Um, you drive it by directing exhaust gas over the turbine wheel uh, to accelerate it and provide a torque through to the compressor which is divorced from it via the seals in the bearing housing. Beautiful representation of a fixed geometry turbine housing. Um, there's the, if you can imagine, that's the, the turbine wheel and as the exhaust gas comes around it, it accelerates and gets jetted onto the tips of the turbine wheel and the turbine wheel is driven. Um, the turbine wheel, the torque provided, runs through the core and runs the air compressor on the other side, which that's a vortex red air compressor. So um, you can't, show, you, you have to decide a compromise size turbine housing for your application if you're going to go with a waste-gated uh, design. Uh, and the compromise will come in the form of a couple of things. It will mean, um, you know, you might be going for really better, better bottom end response better mid-range efficiency or better top end power and so on. But you have to choose where you're gonna be. You can't be everywhere. You've gotta choose this situation which is the best compromise for what you're dealing with. With variable geometry housing, um, you have um, these veins which can change, in, change the cross-sectional area through here. So each one of those added, you know, added together forms uh, this, this cross-section here. And um, in essence, um, we can make it uh, typically around twice as big as what the waste-gated cousin is, uh, and uh, you get a much higher efficiency. I mean, to give you an example, um, a waste-gated turbocharger running 400 horsepower, if we do take that waste-gated turbocharger off and we put on a G500, a VNT turbo, you pick up 30 horsepower for nothing. No extra fuel, just re by reduced back pressure, higher efficiency. Thanks so much guys for watching. Um, if anything that you've seen today has prompted questions from you or you feel that you, you would like more detail on some of the subject matter that we've covered, it's certainly a really big subject matter. Subscribe and send your, uh, put your comments below and, uh, and we'll attempt to answer them in the next one.